Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gamer back to kick off round four for Group D. Group D, a very tightly contested group, especially at the top there. And in this session, we are going to see Xeno Slick Goku going up against Man. North America going up against Broxy. And then a big game at the bottom between Lad and Silver Knights. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I think in the first two matches, whoever wins... We'll probably, well, we'll definitely be going through. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner for Monsieur Zeno Slick Goku, we've got Gygus. Well, Zeno kind of got st stomped by um, Broxy in round three. Wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. But it happened. Okay, what field are we on? We are on the Arid Field. Which is good news for Xeno, because this Uopolacephalus will have terrain advantage. Okay, let's have a look. Xeno and Man want to swap when HP's below half. Convenient. Mm, this could be a problematic field for Man. Because, well, not because of this dinosaur, because it's T-Rex. But because they have Brontokins in second, which with terrain disadvantage, so... That matchup, possible matchup, Uopracephalus against Brontokins could be key here. So this T-Rex is going to have to do its work. And backing up the T-Rex, as I've already said, we've got Brontokins. Brontokins. Ooh, I think the terrain advantage does give Zeno the upper hand in this match. But this could be close, this could be close. We, that, we all know what a T-Rex is capable of. Oh no, look at this, we got Gygus versus T-Rex. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, so both want to swap when it feeds below half. Let's go with this match. And yeah, if I cough a bit, it's because I'm feeling golfy today. <coughs> like that. Yeah, I don't know, I've been really coffee ever since Christmas. Terrible. Well, you know what's not terrible? This start from Xeno Slick Goku. Getting off the mark early on here. Mm, but the team, but Man responds with his first attack of the match. It's a Magma Blaster. Um, I think this T-Rex might be counter type. Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, yes, it probably is. And that puts Man into a slight lead. So it's time to swap out the Gygus. doesn't get the swap there. That's a tie. And in fact, the other T-Rex will be swapping out. Oh, Man gets the swap. Zeno does not. Ooh, could that be crucial? Well, it'll be interesting to say the least because Brontekins comes in with a terrain disadvantage. Against the Uoplocephalus. Well, you know what that means. You know what that means, don't you? You want the Cephalus, it's going to be starting with a crit. Taking a use in our terrain advantage, well. So yes, if a dinosaur with terrain advantage comes in against a dinosaur with terrain disadvantage, then the dinosaur with terrain advantage will get a crit, as you saw there. Oh, there's another crit. Well, Zeno's down one dino, but that one dino's putting up a fight. Defense boost maxing up, that could be key as well. Oh, we got a Giga Rock Hammer. Gonna do some more damage to Brontekins. A swap would be quite convenient here for Man. Oh, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get the swap there. Oh, we're definitely not gonna see Spectral Armor. But, what the Kins is going to get the swap. Oh, hang on a minute. We might, because he's got recovery. Well, light recovery, that is. Neck Crusher coming in here. Oh, is that, does that put Man back in the driving seat? The T-Rex comes in. But that's all the swapping that Man will be doing in this match. One slight problem, though, is if the Brontokins comes back in, the Uoplocephalus will get another crit off because of the terrain disadvantage, so that is a problem for Man. But we'll see if he can finish the job with the T-Rex. 
which it looks like he might. Another tie. Well, ties will favour Marn. He'll take those all day long. Oh, I think this Eurocephalus is revival type? Well, we're about to find out. And it is. So Zeno clinging on by a Fred. But if he kill this T-Rex, he gets a crap. Ooh, he does kill the T-Rex. Can Zeno snatch this match? Is a crit going to be enough? We're going to find out. I don't think it's going to be, though. Oh, no, no. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's Earth Barrier. Oh, could that have been a Giga Rock? If that was a Giga Rock Hammer, I think that might have won it for Zeno. But instead, it's a pointless Earth Barrier. Oh, it's a tie. That's going to be all she wrote for Zeno. They'll get a losing bonus point. So they're not walking away empty-handed, but it's Marn taking the spoils. Despite having the terrain difficulties, Marn gets the job done in impressive style. Righty-ho then. That will probably be Marn through to the last 32 round. And that losing bonus point that Zeno got will, will get them, edge them closer to the last 32 as well. Right, on to our second match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Team North America, we have got a Staracosaurus. Team North America thrash off their dramatic win over Lad in round three. Undeserved, I would, I would say. Undeserved, but, you know, they got it nonetheless. Backing up the uh, Staracosaurus, we got Eucaraptor. Well, we don't need to worry about any terrain advantages on this field, because neither of our guys have a secret dinosaur. Guy. The new character. Probably the next project on my list for Evolution 2. Right, in the blue corner, four. Broxy, we have got the Amargosaurus. Broxy with the exact same team as Chain Knights in this tournament, but not the exact same moveset. Weird, isn't that? I mean, sometimes, like, if you have, like, a met. Like, some of the more, like, meta dinosaurs, like, I don't know, Eocarcaria or Brontekins, you know, there are going to be lots of them. But, like, to have the exact same two dinosaurs in the exact same order is really fascinating. And, yeah, backing up the Margosaurus, we got the stake. And, well, for both guys, it's worked out well in this tournament. Chain Knights yet to be defeated in this tournament, and Broxy doing well, so more power to them. I just hope if I do another tag tournament, we don't have... Amargus Steg spam. <laughs> I'll ban them. Ooh, Amargosaurus starting strong. Here comes the softening beam. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Chain Knights has softening beam on their Amargosaurus too. Well, you know what that means? Futaba Cannon's getting triggered. Oh, here comes another softening beam. Oh, this always seems to lag the emulator for some reason. Softening beam takes a lot out of this computer. So yes, yeah, softening beam, it lowers your defense in a tie. So the Stratosaurus is going to take a lot of damage when it's tied. Okay, that's probably over half. Pretty sure. Well, it's definitely going to be below half after this. Look at this. Big difference in damage. Ooh, well, this is a strong start from Broxy. Stopping the Amargosaurus from swapping out, getting off a power drain. So it's going to suck the life out of this Staracosaurus. But it's going to be on a tiny bit of hell. And this crisis type. So Final Fury is a factor, but can Staracosaurus get that hit? Which will get them back in this contest. Oh, they can't! Ooh, that's probably a relief there for Broxy, but this is not good from Team North America. Yet to get going. And things looking really good for Broxy. Got a tie. Another tie. Is this going to be a bonus point win for Broxy? Well, it, it looks really good for them. Oh, no more ties, please. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> a hit for Team North America. Finally getting their first hit of this match. Well, they came back against Lad. Can they come back against Broxy? Well, they, they won't get the kill this Amargosaurus. It'll get the power drain. It'll get the swap out. Chop the button. Suck the Utahraptor's life out. Big bit. Okay, that's game. <laughs> Bonus point win secured. Last 32 place secured for Broxy, and it's job done. In, it, in quite emphatic style there, Team North America really didn't get going. And it's a big bonus point win for Broxy to take them, well, to keep them top of Group D. And as I said, booking their place in the last 32 round. So well played to Broxy. As for Team North America, well, they'll just have to do it all in round five. Now then, on to a big game at the bottom. Let's see how this match plays out. Ooh, well... Some good news for Lad for once, because his Indo Supers will have terrain advantage. In the red corner, we have, well, Indo Supers, which will get the first hit. Backing up the Indo Supers, we got Namegdosaurus. Well, Silver Knights doesn't have any wind or lightning dinosaur, so the terrain advantage will be Lad's and Lad's alone. Ooh, could this, could this be the day Lad gets his first win in my tournament? I mean, it's probably not going to change anything in terms of getting out of the group, but, you know, at least you get a win. Right, as for Silver Knight in the blue corner, we've got Spiny. Well, Silver Knight's also in need of a win. Three points adrift of fourth place Team North America. Of course, their plight isn't as bad as Lad's. Silver Knight has a much, much better opportunity. Chance. They got a massive win in round three. And they'll be hoping to back it up to give, them, give themselves a real opportunity to get out the group. Right, backing up Spiny, we got Euoplocephalus. Not much to say about this Euoplocephalus, to be honest. It's just been, you know, there. Okay, so Indosuchus is going to be starting with a rock. So I think that's Power Drain. Which is good for Indosuchus, because this Indosuchus is strength type. The Mayfly will get triggered. Will we see that combo at last for Lad? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, and he gets it. Ooh, this is interesting. Well, for the first time in this tournament, we're going to see the strength type Mayfly combo from the Indosuchus. And that's exactly why Lad has me fly. Oh, he killed it! Blown away the spiny. Getting blown away. That is so much more like it from Lad. I mean, it is a wild child team at the end of the day. You know, it was either going to be hit or miss. And unfortunately for Lad, it has been miss. But they're hitting the notes so far. And that's as strong a start as they've made in this tournament. Ooh, look at this, another crap. Ooh, a support effect! Are things turning around for Lad? Right, ooh, that means Indosuchus will be going for another crap. You can't go scissors. Oh, and he gets it! Is the Wapnocephalus dead? Well, Lad is probably going to be knocked out of this tournament at the group stage, but you can't say they're not going down fighting. Putting up a big fight against Silver Knight and winning the match. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick. And that, well, a bonus point win for Lad, all of a sudden, puts them right back in the contest. I mean, they're still going to have work to do, and you'll see that when we look at the table now. But, yeah. Well done, Lad. What a way to get your first win in my tournament. Winning with style. Right, let's have a look at the table. Well, Broxy is already through, like eight points clear of Lad. Broxy's already gone through. We have Man in second place, all, already securing their place in the last 32 as well. Mainly by virtue of the fact that they beat Lad in 
round one, and the most points lad can get is nine. So Manu will be above them no matter what. And then we have Zeno Slick Goku in third on eight points. Team North America. Oh, hang on. Update the bonus points. Team North America in fourth on seven points. But Lad climbing up to fifth on five points. And then Silver Knights at the bottom on four. But it is still all to play for for these two. And in fact, round five is going to be really interesting. Because we will have Man going up against Team North America. And then, probably the biggest game in this round, Xeno Slick Goku going up against Lad. And well, if Lad wins that, they will go above Xeno Slick Goku into the top four for the first time in this tournament and get out of Group D. And Xeno will be in a bit of trouble here. And then we will see S Broxy going up against Silver Knight. So yeah, that win has given Lad a real opportunity to get, actually get out of this group from the brink of elimination. One thing's for certain though is that Broxy has won Group D. On 13 points, uncatchable by Marn in second place on 9 points, only by virtue of the fact that Broxy beat Marn in their matchup. But Marn is all, also already through because of the result in the final round of Lad winning. And even if Lad gets a bonus point win in round 5, they will not go above Man because Man beat Lad in the first round. So yeah, these two, you two can safely relax knowing that you're through to the last 32. But right, yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment. Thanks for watching and until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.